Oh, welcome to uh, Breaker Coos Reviews. We are gathered here today to bear witness to this union of two Asgardians from the Target exclusive pack. Uh, can you hear me? Can I get a witness? Okay, I'm done. Um, we are here looking at the Target exclusive Thor and Valkyrie uh, two pack. Um, there is uh, there is Thor. There is Valkyrie, and there they are again in figure form. Um, let's get right down to it. I was not going to purchase it, but Target this week has a deal for 25% off one single item toy. Um, so that's a pretty good deal. I did not want to pay full price for this, so I'll take these two for 15 bucks each. Okay. Um, as far as the accessories they come with, um... Thor comes with his two extra hands, uh, the grippy hands he had from the uh, wave, as well as a new outstretched hand that's like this, like he's using lightning or magic. Um, I just put the lightning effect that also came with it on the sword, and there's his sword that came with it as well. Nice coloration, nice little armor. Um, the plastic on the lightning effect is very soft. Um, some reviewers are saying that it's soft, but they're understating it. This stuff is like jelly. This is a very gelatinous substance here. It's nice. Um, it's very easy to grip and use. You know, I'm all for, uh, Marvel Legends coming out with something different for an effect. And I dig it. Um, I've been over this Thor before. Um, so I'm not going to go over him too far in depth again. Because it's the same exact Thor almost as the War, a planet uh, as, as the Gladiator Hulk wave one. Um, as you can see, same bodies work almost the exact same, except for this the Target exclusive has a wash versus this one not having a wash. This one has a removable plate that you can take off the leg. That one doesn't. Okay, so uh, both heads are interchangeable. They both look like uh, Chris Hemsworth, the actor who plays Thor. Um, and both of them have a little bit of trouble standing. So, the same issues that plague this one, plague this one. So, I'm not really going to go into it as much. But, for some reason, I like this figure more. This one, for mine, is a little bit more bow-legged, as you can see, than the standard one, which is there. But, the standard one has a harder time standing up. So, uh, what can you say? Um, I like both figures. They both have the same exact mode, so there's nothing else there to really go over besides the heads. So I'm going to bring the heads in a little closer so you can get a feel of the previous one. Looks good with the helmet. And then this one without the helmet. He's got some really nice, you know, lines and scoped. I mean, Marvel Legends knocked the head on this one out the freaking park. I especially love the hand, too. That looks good. That looks good. Yes, sir. So then we have the new figure of the pack, which, for whatever reason, Marvel Legends constantly does a new figure and an old one they release, like the Ego pack with uh, Star-Lord. There was three Star-Lords in that way. There's no reason to go give another one that's slightly different with a new figure Ego. You know, they, I don't know why they keep doing that, but I think they're going to actually break tradition from doing that with the Black Panther wave exclusive because it's going to be the Black Panther uh, Shiri, Black Panther's sister, as well as the Claw. So that's going to be a good set. But back to what we're looking at here with Valkyrie. Um, they did a good job. Um, that's her. I mean, damn. Good job. Um, this gunmetal color here. Looks very, very good. Um, her outfit is really nicely done. Um, the sword, not so much. Very loose. Very soft. Look at that. Okay. Um, and it's very loose in her hand. Her hand's very tight, but it's still hard to get in there. Um, she comes with a sheath and nowhere to store it. Um, some people have been putting it in the belt, but I don't care that much. Um, it's okay. It's not going to kill me. Um, but the face is beautifully done. Um... It looks like she has a de an error or some type of misstep here um, when I first got it, but 
every single one of these figures has that same little imperfection around there. So maybe that's something that's supposed to be done that way in the movie. Can't wait to see this weekend and see. Um, I really like her hair. Uh, again, it's just done very well. Almost, you know, perfectly if you look here. Very reminiscent to what they were going for in the figure. So, Legends, again, um, keep killing it, folks. You're just doing a great job. Um, and I can confirm this is not the same as the Mantis um, figure. Some people have been saying that this and the Mantis build figure are the same, like, I guess, mode. They're not. Um, at least the clothing is not. It's not the same. Um, it's very different. It's a unique mode down to the pants with the knife. So, um, do I recommend this set? Heck yeah. Um, at first I didn't. Um, I would recommend paying full price. Just because unless you, unless you skipped on this one, if you skipped on this one, then it's worth $40 easily. But if you have that one, don't pay any more than 30. Okay. Um, and the other reason I got this, um, let's see if we can zoom in. There we go. The only reason I, other reason I got this is because if you look at the head, I'm a big Thor guy. I actually read comics. I know some people don't read comics and I hear them doing reviews and like, I don't know what's going on in the comics and I understand that, but I don't, I almost kind of wonder why they collect the figures. I guess they just like the figures. But for me, I, I like the characters because a lot of times I read the comics. I rarely get a figure that I don't know about in the comics. It, it does happen. But you see this head? That's how he currently looks right now. He, he shaved his head. And I have the exclusive... Uh, opportunity of having the um, SDCC uh, Unworthy Hulk or Unworthy Thor. So I have that cape and um, body. So what I was wondering before I got this was, man, I wonder if I can take this head and would it fit on that? Well, let's find out. And you can see I have the Marvel Select Milanor um, on his that he's holding as well because he's not worthy technically and there we go folks if that isn't badass excuse the language for those of you who don't partake in, in the cursing but if that isn't just freaking amazing I don't know what is I mean all I need to do now is basically come up with like a cloth uh, shirt that's removable and I can have his other look. Look at that. That's pretty sweet. So, I mean, and the fact that the head looks so realistic combined with the chest on the, the, the chest hair, I mean, you can't beat it. I was like, man, what else can I do to this thing to make it even cooler? I was like, you know what? It's lightning. I wonder how it would look if I put lightning on Millionaire. Uh, stop. Let's just stop. Folks, you see this? Do, do you see this? So, this is the best Thor creation I can have. Because um, I have the regular head, you know, and it's, it's good. But this one looks so much better. I mean, look, there's this one, Fabio with a beard. And then there's that one. Ah! All right, sorry, that was my geek moment, guys, but I, I, I couldn't resist. So, again, I do recommend picking up this set because um, even if you just want the head and, you know, <laughs> it's worth it for that along with the lightning effect. Uh, just add something to it. So, again, I hope you all have enjoyed this review as much as I've enjoyed, you know, making it. If you like it, Please don't forget to subscribe there if you haven't already. Or check out the previous review right there. Wolverine needs some love. And until next time, peace and grease, folks.